time to lay into this bitch. Move! Oh! I thought I hit him. Oh, her. It! I thought I fucking hit it, alright? I'm sorry. Oh, John snapped! He's lost it! What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla, and welcome to the final episode of our Dark Pictures Little Hope playthrough. It's sad that we've gotten to this point, but I am very excited to catch the twist ending that's going to go down because we all know when it comes to Supermassive and their video games, there is always going to be one huge twist at the end that just throws everything on its head. I've got some theories about what's going down here and I'm going to share one with you right now. I mentioned in the previous episode I've been putting some pieces together and I think I'm on track. I always avoid watching other people play games like this, spoilers of any other kind, because I don't like stories like this ruined for me. Because if you find out the twist ending before you even start, what's the point of even going through the situation? But I feel the big twist we are going to get at the end of this game is the reason we have not seen the bus driver who has been mentioned by the curator plenty of times, mind you, is because Andrew is the bus driver. And we're seeing what's going on through the perspective of Andrew and the survivor of the American Hunter's game. Because we saw the brainstorms of his family members, and Andrew's business was the same level of five brainstorms, one of which, and the other brainstorms, which is Tanya's brainstorms, who had an African American boyfriend. And the only African American in this entire playthrough is Vince, who is tied to this place. So I'm thinking Vince is a grown-up version of Tanya's boyfriend from the past. And the reason he's actually following us around is because he recognizes Andrew. And Vince will be sold crazy and he'll be doing everything, 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 and he'll Hey, hey, there's John. Those outfits. This place shut down way, old school way John sitting in the Life front right there with old school Angela. Everything was ahead of me. When I say old school, I'm referring to the family from the beginning of the game that died in that house fire. Which, obviously, at the top of the video, I've, I've said my piece. At least I hope when I shot this intro I said my piece. I hope I did. If I did, that's the theory I'm going with. If I didn't, I've still got a theory. So, good old kiss my ass in the top drawer. Employment warning letter. What do you do? Just scribble kiss my ass and I can put it in the top drawer? Is there anything else in here? Yes, there is. We've got ourselves a box. See? Get over here. There it I is. This. this is too fucking weird. This is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? We do, we saw it at the start of the game. All but Andrew died in a house fire. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. Of course he is, because it's his family. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say this. Also, thing. we never saw Daniel get stabbed. Are you the real Andrew? And he's oh. got like a rip in his arm and a rip in his chest. So wait. Which is kind of where the poles that his doppelganger got stabbed through. So I'm starting to think that the longer we have gone through this game, they're showing signs of their past selves. She leave him for some other guy. That's Vince's photo, and I. There we go. It is all coming together. Vince was Tanya's boyfriend. Okay. 
So what's your theory? I just told you, you my theory. Right below us. We need to find a way out of here now. I think that fact and that fact alone just confirmed what I've been saying. Which, if I've just blown the big reveal, that's I don't even care because Andrew, I'm stoked if that's the case. Because that's a huge mind fuck. You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! <laughs> Of course, I could be completely wrong. We could be in the future. Oh, shit. Uh, Daniel, I think your... I think your creature is down there. Oh, yes, they are. Time to dodge and weave, bitch. Come on, we're going to help him. Uh, we're going to pull him up. That's it! That's it! Give it to him! He's gonna pull Andrew down there with him, isn't he? Andrew's gonna fall down as well. I need to get out of here. I feel Andrew's gonna fall. Yeah. Oh. See what I mean? He's now bleeding from the ear, but he has no reason to be bleeding from the ear. Time to lay into this bitch. Oh, home run. Move. Run, bitch. Andrew. 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 Well, we're out of there. Let us know you're okay. We're okay, but we're out of there. Let's go before anything else happens. That's a great idea, John. Look, I could be missing the mark with the with the theory that I'm throwing out into the world. I mean, the theory I'm throwing out there is starting to make more sense, but this could all be happening in the future from that house fire and, you know, just could coincidental that there's three timelines where people look exactly the same. Daniel? Which could be an even bigger you? mind fuck, but I think Answer we're on track me. with what I've guessed. That thing looks to have gone, but it could come back any time. It could. We have to keep moving. And we will. Come on, Angela. So we know John has been condemned to death as well. Well, his doppelganger, Joseph, has been condemned to death. Which means we're going to see John's doppelganger appear as a creature. Not sure whether Andrew's doppelganger, Abraham, ever gets Professor? condemned to death. But we know for a fact Professor? there's still one hey! more creature we haven't seen yet. You guys! Andrew? Andrew? Oh, thank God. We didn't think we'd see you again. Got lucky, I guess. First time tonight. Oh my god. 
thought I'd lost you. <laughs> this isn't over. The thing back there is still after me. Um, that's one we haven't seen before. I think that's good old John's doppelganger. That kid, Mary? He an ugly motherfucker. Not seen her. Examine. Found another secret. Let's have a look in the boot. Burn in hell. A line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watch as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from police. See what I mean? It would make sense as well if Andrew and Anthony were the same person and the bus driver was Anthony because he seemed a bit irked about not wanting to go back to Little Hope. Is that Mary? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Stay loose, people. I don't know whether I jumped or not, but my heart just fucking raced a, a fair fucking bit. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. Oh, fuck, you they're squishing him. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. Oh, fuck, I can't imagine what that would feel like. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. No one is safe. Oh, fuck! You renounce the devil and all his teachings. Could you imagine fighting against it and just having it... Oh, no, no. Oh. I'm not the devil. I'll you face you in my death. Roy, you but... Six servants. We have to stop this. Go on, confront Mary then. You've been about wanting to confront Mary the entire fucking time. Get away! You give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones! The oh, devil must be no. from within him. Do not flinch. <laughs> Even he's hesitant to do it. Hands. No, no, no. Fuck. But, just like the guy at the start of the game died, crushed to death. Too many coincidences going down in this bitch. Don't know what happened there. A little bit of a glitchy glitch, but it's okay. Fuck, that would have hurt. That would have hurt so much. That's probably one of the more gruesome deaths we've seen what so happened? far. Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> oh! Because he's crushed, he's all exorcist up in here, like fucking... I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! Oh! John, now's the time not to be a hero. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. Uh, please hurry. John, please hurry! We're gonna jump between Angela and John. Oh, John snapped! He's lost it! Fucking cop that, you bastard! Hit him again! Oh, that's fantastic! Fuck him up, John! 
And Angela's on the run. From good old snaky chains. Roll out of the way, Angela! Hit him! I love this back and forth. Oh! I thought I hit him. Oh, her. It! I thought I fucking hit it, alright? I'm sorry. Eat shit! Yeah, fucker, how'd that feel? Oh, we're not leaving Angela behind. The Scooby Gang gotta stay strong. No longer bound by your chains, bitch! Oh, that's creepy as fuck. This is what we saw in a premonition. Um, John barricading the door with a sledgehammer. Get inside. You better help him, Andrew. Yes. And sledgehammer. Beautiful. Okay. That's another premonition down. I think John would be fearful now. Andrew! Andrew! I need you here! Big boy weighing his pants a little bit. Don't move. I hope I'm making the right choices, by the way, because there's a lot of bearings being updated and I feel I fucked up along the way. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. But all of our guys are still alive, so I must be doing something right. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burnt down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Whoa, hang on a fucking minute. I've just clued on to where we are. We're in the house from the start of the game. There's our teaser for the next game. House of Ashes. This was around the time in Man of Medan that we got the teaser for Little Hope, actually, so that worked well. You creepy little bitch. She's going upstairs, huh? You hear that? I did. Can only be the girl. Let's go find her. This is it. This will be the final confrontation. It's all led to coming back to this house from the beginning. She's in here. Stay here. His brother's record. Andrew, what are you doing? I remember. <laughs> Fuck! He knows I was about to confess all to the church. No way. Will you protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. 
I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. Mary did she make the poppet. Her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so, liar. Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Just because you're a man of God doesn't mean Where you can't be accused of wrongdoing. For her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? I trust her. And we found that thing saying now that this prick here this child of the damned used her to push his agenda. So we're self. throwing you under the fucking bus, Carver. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Carver is evil. Fuck him. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. Really? I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What oh, you believe me now, Angela. Back into the line. I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Go get him, Abraham. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. Well, well, well. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. So in many ways, Mary was the puppet. Child. Do you not see what she is? The truth stares You've got the sink that you see nothing. Everything's written in your the fucking Bible, mate. Deceived you all. Not me. I see her. I see her. Satan's all. You will pay heavily for your crimes. I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. That's a bit cute. But I didn't save you. But I didn't save you. Because his sister that looks like her died in the fire. See, it, oh, it's, I really hope this is how it's going to go down. Because even though some of you at home might be thinking, well, Zero, if that's the way it's going to go down, you've ruined it for yourself. But no, 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 I've said it already, I'll say it again. If that's the way shit's about to go down, I'm happy. Because it brings everything together so well. I can't believe it's finally over. You protected the girl and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for that plaque we found, so... 
Proof in the pudding, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't look around in these type of games, you miss things and... Tell me what happened. You could have accidentally the condemned girl, the wrong person. Mary? I think finally... This whole nightmare is over. Let's get the fuck on out of here, people. Whoa, 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 whoa! How come Angela got out, but the other three are left behind? Similar scenes to him rushing around at the beginning of the game. Oh, fuck off. These three are about to die. John, no! Yep. I fucked up, and the bearings have come back to haunt me. Reckless, fearful, dismissive. Dead. Should have never drank that drink in the beginning. His neck snapped. Reckless, arrogant, dead. Impaled. And she's going to be burnt alive. Aggressive, indecisive, deceitful. Ah. And away they go. I was questioning before what was going on with the bearings, and now we know. Angela was the only one we got the correct decisions for. Fuck, I thought the Scooby gang were going to make it out in one piece. Damn it! Hey! Here we oh, go. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us have been through some real tough time these past years. Hey! About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. Did Vincey Boy just confirm what I think he just confirmed? This is actually the, the diner that the game started at, I'm where the bus sorry, left from. Put you all through. Put them all through. There's only one person here. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through hell, no, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. Blame yourself. <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it.
we called it, but I just actually got I just actually got goosebumps. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. There was no one with him the entire time. I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. Either the bump on his head made him think he was seeing people, or the guilt of what happened makes him Can see people, just but... Shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. No wonder Vince thought he was some fucking crackpot. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. It makes sense in seclusion. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. He wasn't talking to Vince, he was talking to John, who we thought was right there. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciate there's no goddamn us oh. I've seriously got chills because now it makes more sense oh. the bridge was never broken either so the creatures everything nothing was real except for Vince and Anthony Thank God I didn't shoot. Thank fuck I didn't pull the trigger. Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Well done. Holy shit, that was, that was great. Yes! Don't fucking look at me like that. I, I hate to say I told you so, but, um, I told you so. When I started putting two and two together and started working things out, even though some would think that it lessened the blow for the, for the ending, but it didn't. It still really got me. And I still feel... And I'm going to throw this out there. And you can agree with me. And you can disagree with me. But this shits all over Man of Medan. Blew it out of the water. And this is on par. With the same level of brilliance. That super massive games brought us with Until Dawn. There. I said it. I said it. You want to disagree? I can disagree. I, I, I dare you. But you can't argue... That this game is not absolutely brilliant in so many ways. I'm now going to play through on my own because there's a lot more secrets to find. Uh, other endings for me to uncover. That's what I love about these games. The replayability is great. Might even look at doing a bit of multiplayer with this moving forward. See whether we can get something rocking. But hey, that's another horror game down. It's time to now siphon through the archives and see what we can do next. Thank you for following this series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. If you guys did, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to support your boy just a little bit more, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Not just supporting myself in the process, you're joining one hell of a community of people as well. In the description down below, go watch the series from start to finish if you haven't. Absolutely fantastic. Man of Medan and Until Dawn playlist are down there as well. You're welcome. Social media links are down there if you want to follow me on those. 
be sure to ring that notification bell before you leave. I think it's kind of down that way. So you don't miss anything that goes down on the channel moving forward. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Continue.